<laughs> okay, good morning. Welcome to Math 1010. Math 1010. So today we're going to look at a, at a really interesting statistics problem called how many fish. Okay. And you mentioned to me that you had seen this problem before. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> you have some number of fish in a pond. And what you decide to do is take a corner of the pond and capture the fish and then re-release them, capture count them and then release them. And wait some time later and then capture a bunch of fish again. See how many you get and use that to estimate how many fish are in the pond. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've seen this problem before, so I'm going to have you go second. So what, what do you think about what's going on here and how that will help you estimate the number of fish in the pond? Well, it, it's like a, it's a rough estimate for how many fish in the pond because you can look at, like, maybe if 20%, if you tagged 50 fish and then you catch a number of fish again and then 20% of them are tagged, you can sort of estimate that 50 fish is 20% of the population. So okay. you can say maybe 250 fish. All right, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about you? Um, yeah, I think this is just kind of a way to get a rough estimate for the <coughs> size of a population in a specific area. Okay. Um, it's not a, obviously it's not a perfect estimate. All right, what, <coughs> what are some things that um, could go wrong or, or, you know, potential problems? Well, I mean, maybe just by random chance, like you get, on your second run, you get a lot more red fish, the ones that you tagged. You get a lot more than you maybe would if you did it a bunch of times. Or maybe you get, like, a lot fewer, so maybe you think there's a lot more fish okay. than you think there are. Mm -hmm. than there actually are. So it's not a perfect estimate. <coughs> what could help improve it? Doing um, it multiple times. Yeah. So you go back and then catch more fish, and then you... Estimate how many are tagged, and see how many are tagged, and then you create an average using the, the, as many trials as you do. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so, this particular <laughs> example is from our friend Vincent, uh, but he was reacting to another um, uh, tweet about this problem that has a, um, a an approach that's really... <coughs> from kind of advanced probability. So I'm gonna show that to you as well, and then we're gonna dive into looking at the problem ourselves. Okay? Mm -hmm. 